Intercontinental Series, Bentley has proven to be a master of the art of stratification, slicing the market for its already fast, already luxurious, and already expensive coupe and convertible into ever finer striations of performance and exclusivity. The latest example is the 2015 Bentley Continental GT3R, which, for now at least, sits at the very apex of the Continental hierarchy. Although similar in concept to the previous Super Sports, which departed with the prior generation Continental, the GT3R is a slightly different twist on the ultimate Continental GT. The GT3R takes its inspiration from the Continental GT3 racing car, which runs in the Pirelli World Challenge in North America and the Block Paint Endurance Series in Europe. The GT3R's livery of white with green stripes, the only color scheme available, is taken directly from the racing car. Other visuals are similarly borrowed from the racing car, including the full black out trim, the unique black finished 21-inch wheels, and the hood vents. The front splitter, lower body extensions, door mirrors, and deck mounted rear spoiler are all carbon fiber. The sum total effect is racy indeed. It is a sign of the V8 engine's ascendancy at Bentley that the top performance Continental GT now uses 8 cylinder power rather than a W12. The GT3R's twin turbo V8 makes 572 horsepower and 518 pound feet of torque, up from 521 horsepower and 502 pounds to foot in the V8 S. The 12 cylinder 2015 Bentley Continental GT Speed, however, still offers more, with 626 horsepower and 607 pounds to foot. Although it can't match the output of the GT Speed, the GT3R is the liveliest Continental we've ever driven. This Bentley isn't just impressive underway, it lights out from a stop right now. Aided by a lower final drive ratio, the GT3R will rocket from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds, making it the quickest production Bentley ever. Standard carbon silicon carbide brake rotors reel in this fast machine, and should provide fade-free performance. Aiding the GT3R's energy level is the fact that the car has shed some 220 pounds compared to the V8S, and it's 100 pounds lighter than the previous Super Sports. In addition to tossing out the back seat, other pound-saving measures include switching to a titanium exhaust system and fitting lighter wheels.